since I started dealing with the topic on the Holy Spirit, there have been strange reactions and manifestations. And it looks like somebody wants me to talk about other subjects, but not to talk about the Holy Ghost. But we will talk about the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. The Bible said that in the times past, under the Hebrew scriptures or under the Old Testament dispensation that God spoke through the prophets. But in the present, he has spoken through his son. And his son also declares to you and I that he has handed over the baton and the mantle to the Holy Spirit. So these are the days of the Holy Spirit. Say, these are the days of the Holy Spirit. And there is nothing that can replace the Holy Spirit. I thank God for systems and I thank God for innovations. I thank God for creativity and for skills and for planning. Thank God for billboards and thank God for all the things we do to beautify the house of God and all that. But none of those things mm, can save a soul. None of them can rescue a soul. It is only the Holy Spirit who has the power to rescue and to save lives. And when we ignore him, we are in trouble. I saw a documentary on CNN concerning the state of the church in Europe. And they were showing so many empty buildings in Europe. You should see the beauty of those buildings. And it was empty. There was no one in those buildings. <clears throat> They've turned some of those buildings into nightclubs and into all kinds of centers. Why? Because when we stop depending on the Holy Spirit, when we ignore him, when we stop being led, when we stop being guided, when we stop being influenced and driven by the person of the Holy Spirit, and we decide to serve God on our terms and not on his terms, we drive the Holy Spirit out of the church. And when the Holy Ghost is out of the church, we are finished. We can't do it without the Holy Spirit. Ephesians 6, 12, the Bible says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities and against powers and against the rulers of darkness of this world and against spiritual forces of wickedness in high places. Without the Holy Spirit, we don't stand a chance. We don't run the church by committees. The church is not run by a democratic system. The church is run by the Holy Ghost. And he is the teacher. And the church cannot survive without the Holy Spirit. We need the fire of God. We need the fire of the Holy Ghost to come back to the church. We need to allow the Holy Spirit to have his way and realize that as much as systems and innovation and organization is critical, it cannot replace the Holy Spirit. There is no substitute, ladies and gentlemen, for the Holy Spirit. Jesus, for 30 years, waited for him to come kept saying for 30 years, my hour has not yet come. My hour has not yet come until the Holy Spirit came. And he commanded us not to attempt to preach or to do anything in his name without the Holy Spirit. For it is not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, you and I need the person of the Holy Spirit. This battle of life is a battle that no man wins on your own terms. We win it by his terms and on his terms. It's not a fight of flesh and blood. It is said and believed that no man or woman comes into this world 
and checks out of this world without a fight. Every man, every woman, irrespective of the color of your skin, your background, your upbringing, and where you come from, will have to fight something until the day you leave this world. And to win that battle, you and I need the Holy Spirit to guide us.